everybody, it's Deborah. I thought since I hadn't done a critter chat in a while, I would do one of those really quick because I'm not going to probably record a full episode until the end of the weekend or the beginning of next week. Um, so, yeah. So today I thought I would talk about everybody's favorite co-host, Lily. Lily. Yes, hello baby. <laughs> and how I came to be Willie's mom. Um, I There is a local dog rescue um, that I support with donations of both sometimes cash and sometimes supplies and I have occasionally fostered for them. And um, the, one of the local high kill shelters posted their, you know, list of animals that needed rescue. And I saw both Ellie Mae, who you saw in the first Critter Chat video, and Willie's picture. And Willie was scared to death. He was terrified, and I was at—I will never forget—I was at a beekeepers meeting, and um, the guy that I was seeing at the time was very vehemently opposed to me having as many animals as I did. So, being the kind of person that I am, which you can call it whatever you want, I went outside. I texted Michael. And I said, go get those two dogs. Because they were the ones that were going to be euthanized the next day. Or then, the, like on Wednesday. So it was like in two days. They had 48 hours. I said, go get those two dogs. I will put up the bail money. Because this particular shelter, if you put up the money and then you come back with proof that they've been spayed or neutered, they'll give you your entire amount back. They are that desperate to get animals adopted out of that shelter. So, are you cold, buddy? We're out here and sitting out here and it's kind of chilly anyway um so we um he went and got them and brought them to me and of course there was a there was a fight <laughs> i'm just not i'm not even gonna lie there was a fight but i have never regretted for one minute saving willie and ellie may they were so full of personality and they filled a space in my life that i didn't even know existed and i am so grateful he is probably Dachshund and Jack Russell Cross, we think. We don't know for sure. When we got him in 2000, or when I got him in 2016, we think he was about um, a year and a half old. So that would make him three and a half to four years old now. Um, you know, of course, being he's a part Dachshund, he has that long back. So I have to take care to, to make sure that he uh, doesn't hurt his back. And, um, but he's a happy boy and he wants to be right up in the middle of everything. As anybody that's watched my podcast <laughs> knows from the very beginning, he wanted to be up in the midst of it. So that's how I got Willie. Right? Are you cold? Mm -hmm. Love you. Mm -hmm. We're this going is the Luna. Luna came to me as a tiny little kitten from the Pokemon Go Russellville <laughs> chat group. <laughs> um, some people that I know they detail like big rigs and stuff and someone pulled in there with their big rig and up in the engine housing was this tiny little kitten and Luna probably damaged her vocal cords oh you're a touch me not today huh okay, I love you. Luna damaged her vocal cords probably because she was so scared and crying so loudly so her meow is very quiet now because of that uh, it doesn't seem to have had any other effect on her that I'm aware of, but yep, Luna is about two years old now, or a year and a half old, and um, she's a, she's a good girl. She's a looks like a she's a champagne, or a, I don't even know what color you would call her, but she's like a you can see some faint tabby markings, but that's not her predominant color, and she has beautiful golden eyes. Yes, you're a good girl, Tammy. She is about five years old. Um, my friend Carol, who is highly allergic to cats, saw her in the middle of the highway when she was a young kitten. She wasn't a baby baby, but she was a, like a teenager kitten. <laughs> and she, uh, stopped and picked her up and called me and said, can you please take her? I don't want her to get run over. And as you can see, she's very lovable. She's not real fond of the other cats, but she loves attention. So, Cammie's been with me the second longest of my cats. Um, second only to Simon. So she's about five years old and my friend Carol saved her out in the middle of the highway. So she's a good girl. That's Cammy, Cammy Cat, because she looks like camouflage. She's kind of a smoky tortoise shell. 
Trying not to show y'all my junked up table. <laughs> anyway, so that's a little critter chat for you. That'll hopefully tide you over till I record my next episode. Uh, it'll probably be the end of the weekend or the beginning of next week. Um, so, because I'm feeling a little scratchy throated and I want to get past that before I try to record another episode. But anyway, I hope you're all doing good. Until I see y'all again, y'all be good to each other and y'all don't look at my dirty house. <laughs> be good to each other and take care of each other and peace out, y'all. Bye.